Biodiversity for Tanzania is one of the most precious heritages we have. Big names like the Serengeti National Park, known for the migration. This is a resource you cannot find anywhere else in the world. There are several reasons we must conserve biodiversity in Tanzania. It is a national heritage, and any heritage must be safeguarded. It also contributes to the economy through tourism. Currently, it's up to 17% of the GDP in this country comes from the tourism sector. So if this biodiversity disappears, it means our economy will be impacted. And secondly, a lot of the areas where, which are most biodiverse are also catchment areas which protect water sources. So if this biodiversity disappears, it means rivers will dry and land will be degraded the country can easily become a desert. So for this country, despite diversity, is absolutely crucial for survival. The government has set aside 30% of the land surface for conservation. That is a major commitment. Major challenges uh, of conservation uh, here in Serengeti and the rest of, uh, of Tanzania, maybe the rest of the world, is poaching. In the Serengeti National Park, we have all the big five. We have the rhino, uh, we have the elephants, we have the lions, uh, we have the buffaloes, we have the leopard. So they are severely affected by poaching. Poaching is a syndicate. Uh, the poachers doesn't come only from the community, they come from uh, neighboring countries and neighboring regions. So here in Serengeti, our major focus is to control poaching. We introduce the use of the But in Serengeti, we are proud to say that the number of elephants has been increased to more than double. Our success here is to make sure that uh, we are communicating with our rangers while in the field. The vehicles that have been fitted with the digital radio systems, also they have been fitted with the GPS. So if there is anything, they can directly communicate with the operations room. Serengeti National Park is huge, so with an addition of aerial support, we are increasing the surveillance to the park. Wherever there is anything that is being spot spotted from the air can be communicated with the ground crews. Serengeti National Park has uh, a long relations with the German. German corporations has been uh, very helpful to support conservation, especially through anti-poaching. It's assisting us to purchase vehicles for patrol works and also to fix the vehicles through the garage that we have here. It has been really, really a strong support uh, for the park towards achieving its goal of conservation. Our Serengeti ecosystem is huge and it's actually not only the Serengeti National Park, there are other areas outside uh, Serengeti National Park which are very important to maintain the ecosystem. And this includes the areas in the community lands. Community will not keep this area for wildlife if they don't see the benefit. The population of the country keeps growing, which means we are experiencing greater human pressures on the boundaries of the protected areas. The livestock also has also kept growing to the level that available pasture is limited and pastoral communities are now forced to deploy their cattle in protected areas. As time goes on, we also see climate change. Areas which used to get a lot of rain are not getting so much, where wildlife used to get all its needs inside the protected area is now forced to actually move out in people's farms to look for 
food. We have uh, different uh, approaches to engage the communities through our outreach programs. We work with organized groups in the community. We also engage on economic income generating projects that uh, they really give some uh, tangible benefits to the communities. Uh, wildlife management area. This is a community conservation area. And this area is uh, generating a significant amount of income which supports community social infrastructure like schools, health center, water services. <laughs> Kokoba, this means community conservation banks. Uh, this is a kind of uh, microcredit uh, schemes as a way to support communities uh, find alternative economic activities. Mimi nitangia zamani mimi shughuli yangu nilikuwa nikifanya nilikuwa ni mwindaji. Wao mkopo amenisaidia nimenua sehemu ya kulima na nimenua na ngombe za blau, nimenua tena na blau tena lenye. Alikopa watoto wangu wakasoma. Pia wamemaliza. Kwa hiyo mpaka sasa nikakopa tena nikanunua baiskeli saba. Yaani kipindi cha nyuma tulikuwa kabisa tuvuni kabisa tuvuni lakini tangi tumeanza kikosi kazi tunalinda kabisa saa 12 tunaingia kazini mpaka saa 12 nyingine asubuhi ina maana tunalinda tembo haziingii mavuno tunavuna kama kawaida kwa majina yaita Sabina Jane Gendi na kikundi cha maendeleo naeleza kama ifuatavyo kipindi cha nyuma kuanzia mwaka 2003 tulikuwa na maisha magumu ilipofika 2009 mwangu akajiunga na kikundi cha kokoba sasa hivi kijiji naona uundaji umepungua kwa sababu ya vikundi. This is truly a demonstration of the seriousness that this country puts on uh, safeguarding biodiversity both for the country and also for the global community. Conserving is very expensive and Tanzanians alone and not do it on their own. Since it is a resource for the country and for the whole world, then it makes sense for the whole world also to join hands with us to safeguard it. And that is what Germany is doing and that is what Germany should continue to do. <laughs> Good night.